passion and the quality is, is second to none, I'd say, because we are all human beings who love what we do. There's no one really makes the depth of the products we make because we go right from bikes down to bar end plugs. If there's something that we think we can make better to go on the bike, I think we'll try and make it. It's not just business, it's personal, I guess. First 160, it was like a, it was it was built like a tank base. You were never gonna break one. I still think to this day, I don't think we ever broke one. Wherever you go around the world, you can take your hope stuff with you. Nine times out of ten, you're not gonna have any problem, and you just ride and enjoy the trail. We started back in 89, and then we moved on through different factories, local area from Nelson to Cone, Van Oswick, and we've been in the building we are now since 2010. It's over 30 years now of, of manufacturing bike parts. I, mean, I first met Ian and Simon at, at Rolls-Royce. I was out with Ian one night, and he says, do you fancy coming to work for us? He says, yeah, I can do. And that was June 1989, 35 years ago. We're in a small unit, a few manual machines, no CNC machines, and it's just grown steadily from there. We used to have one or two machines at the beginning, whereas now we have, I think, maybe 80 CNCs. Two of my best mates actually founded the company 35 years ago now. Basically, started off in Hope Technology because of Ian and Simon and, you know, the, the relationship I had with them two guys. We were pretty much first in the mountain bike world, putting a disc brake onto a bike. But the product range has just grown and grown. There's nothing really better as, as a designer in starting with a blank sheet of paper to sketch something out, to turn that into some 3D data, to machine it, put it on a bike, out onto the hill and to ride it yourself that process is absolutely incredible. It gives you a massive sense of achievement and satisfaction, and that's what drives you to then do the next thing and, and the next thing, and that's how we've always been at Hope. You don't want to be constantly putting the prices up, so you've got to find a better way of producing the same quality of component at the, at the same cost. A square bar, there's, it could be 60% waste. We then approached a mill who then produced a specific extruded bar as close to the shape as we could possibly get. It's a lot more economical, it's faster machined and environmentally friendly because of less waste. You've got um, a component or a raw material which is closer to the finished part, but also you're achieving a lot more uh, strength. It's, it's, it's just a better component altogether. Athletes now are, are pushing the boundaries of what's possible on a bike and we need to make sure we keep up with that in terms of our product design and the products that we manufacture. And it's a sense of personal responsibility for us. We want to make sure that our products are, are, are up to the job. Our first exhibition we ever did was Interbike in the US. So everyone thought we were an American company. At the time, it wasn't really a bad thing. In mountain biking, everyone thought the Americans were the best things. So we never really beat the drum about British manufacturing. But over the years, it's become more and more important. So now we actually do like to get the cost about this all UK manufactured. We were looking at buying a machine. I said, you know, it's a great product you've got. He says, yes, he says, but you've got one advantage over us. You can say it's made in the UK. He says, we can't do that. And that is recognised the world over. And I think it should be. You know, we're proud of what we do. We're proud of the components we do and the quality. It's fantastic, yeah. Our warranty and service department is incredible. It consists of one guy for the product that we shift worldwide. That's just a stamp of approval, I'd say, of how we make stuff. 
Product longevity is something we always focus on right from the start of any product. When we sell someone a product, we don't want that product to come back. Yeah, it is a key selling point for Hope. Our motto is, is you know, build it to, to last the UK weather. Predominantly, if you can ride in the UK for 12 months a year and your product can survive those sort of conditions, then you can pretty much ride anywhere else in the world. So hope as a brand for me is everything. You know, it's pretty much in my blood. I love the cycling, I love the people involved in the industry, and more importantly, the people that work here. I still love coming to work every day. I, I still enjoy it. And I think if you are in that position, you're very lucky, very fortunate anyway. Eight years or so ago when we produced the bike, I mean, I was so chuffed to ride the bike, which Simon, who unfortunately is not here anymore, he was the main driving force behind getting that um, HB bike ready. And I remember the first day riding that on the moor, we we're all up there and it was just the most amazing feeling, not having to ride. I've even got goosebumps now talking about it. But now moving forward, you know, we've done the 160, the 130 and now the 916. So it's just nice to be, you know, be part of the whole package, to be fair. Yeah, everything we do, we do the best we can. Sometimes we get it right. Nine times out of ten, but sometimes we don't. And obviously, we're so quick to react to that. You know, we can keep things rolling and keep refreshing stuff and doing little tweaks, which you know, no one else can do it that way. There are still hundreds of projects that we want to work on. You can always guarantee there's something in the pipeline. <laughs>